In today's video, I'm going to show you a way that you can remotely access and control your Apple Mac, or it works with PC, using Google's Chrome Remote Desktop. And to access that, you can use another computer or you know, your iPad or an iPhone, your Android phone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jared Goodwin and I'm a Forex and Futures algorithmic trader. I'm currently testing a solution to a little problem that I've got, so I thought I'd make the video just so that others could follow along and, and benefit from what I've learned. Being an algorithmic trader, I actually use software to automate my trades. Now that software has to run 24 hours a day. Normally, up until now, for the past years, I've always run it on a virtual private server. So, a server that's in the cloud. Now the reason for that is they're very unlikely to be interrupted by power failures or internet disconnections. I'm currently looking to swap over that VPS or virtual private server, but I have an old Apple MacBook Pro and I thought, what about if I could use that kind of as my VPS, so as my server, and remotely access it from my local computer or my phone like I normally do with my VPS. So I dug out that old MacBook Pro and set it up running my trading software at home. But obviously I need a way to remotely access it. So I came across a couple of solutions straight away. One was an actual uh, built-in function that Apple uses, but I couldn't get it to work. And that's probably because the MacBook Pro that I'm trying to access it's an old 2009 model and the software is not up to date and possibly there was a problem there. So I quickly turned to Chrome Remote Desktop and so far that's working seamlessly. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So the first thing to do is set up Chrome Remote Desktop on both computers. Ever so easy. Just Google it, Chrome Remote Desktop and set it up both computers. You'll need a Google account so if you haven't got one of those just set one of those up dead simple as with most stuff with Google. And then once you've got Chrome Remote Desktop on both computers, then you just have to set up their login. Again, ever so simple. Now, I'll show you on the screen here just how to log into my other computer that I'm using as my server, if you like. And there's two ways of doing it, or three ways of doing it, actually. You can either use the application that's on the computer, whether it's your Mac or your PC, or you can actually open a web browser window and literally access it like that. It's really quite clever. And then there's the third way, the mobile way, whether you're using your phone or your iPad. So first of all, let's look on my screen and I'll show you how I use the app. So we've got this little icon down here, literally just click on that. Um, this is my old remote device we can see that it's online and this is the current one that I'm using at the moment yeah obviously this device so click on that and just sign in put in your passcode and then it signs in and then what we can see here is the desktop of my remote computer this is my older MacBook Pro uh, if we look I'll show you about this Mac you can see that it's a 13 inch mid 2009 MacBook Pro and if we look on the computer that I'm currently showing you this on there we go MacBook Pro mid 15 so you can see we've got both computers there and of course we can take this uh, full screen and it's quite a, a seamless experience to be honest it's pretty good and I'll show you it running uh, my software. Um, in fact it's, a, it's slightly more complicated. I'm actually using a virtual box. Uh, it's a virtual software that allows me to run Windows on my Mac. So not only am I remotely accessing my Mac, I'm also running a virtual software running Windows on this Mac, which it sounds all very complicated but it runs ever so well. I've never run my trading software which is multi charts I've never run it actually on a PC because I don't have a PC I've always run it using VirtualBox and using a Windows emulator and it runs really really nicely if I just exit this application and then I'll show you on a web browser how we do it as well so once you have the the little Google app for 
Chrome Remote Desktop installed up here. We just click on that and look exactly the same as if we were to have done it through the, the real application. It's that simple. So sign in, just the same. And again, we've got the full screen options, scale to fit, resize, have a play around with those. Uh, it makes the experience that much better. One thing I will mention while we're still on this um, remote computer, I've installed this little application here. It's called uh, Amphetamine, and it's an app that you can get from the App Store. If you're on a Mac, there's probably a very similar app on a PC. Now, what that does is that allows me to keep the computer running. Because I'm actually using a MacBook being a laptop, I don't want to have it open. I want to be able to use it with the lid shut. I, I, I shut the lid and I poke it away somewhere, somewhere out of the way. And normally a Mac would go to sleep or will shut down when you close the lid. And if, the minute you do that, then you're going to lose connection because it, the Wi-Fi drops out and the computer just goes to sleep. So what amphetamine allows you to do, it allows the computer to stay awake and stay running. And that's working really well too. So I could just shut the lid and forget about it, as long as I leave the charger plugged in. And if you want to get amphetamine, that's a free application. Just go to the, the Mac App Store and type in amphetamine. And here it is, this first one here. Keep your Mac awake with amphetamine, okay? And that's about it, guys. Ever so simple. Both machines, go to Google, download Chrome Remote Desktop. Don't forget, if you're on a laptop, uh, it's, uh, it's a MacBook, then you might want to download amphetamine as well to keep it awake. Perhaps if you're running on an iMac or something, then you don't need that. But certainly on a laptop, use that free application too. And so far, I've been using this setup for a couple of weeks now, and it's working really, really well. There are a few problems that I do foresee, things like power cuts. If there was a power cut or a blip, even if it's only a few seconds, it could reset the, my router, my Wi-Fi router, and it's not so much a problem with Chrome Remote Desktop because that will just reconnect and you can go ahead and use it as normal. But for me, it will probably disconnect my trading software, which if it's during the middle of the night when I'm asleep, it could be a problem. So that's a problem. And obviously, if there's problems with the phone line and affecting the Wi-Fi in that respect, same sort of thing. Something I have considered is using a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply. So what that does is, and they're ever so cheap, I'm actually going to build one, we're just going to put one together. It's going to cost about, about 20 quid. But you can actually buy brand new, nice little units for about 80 pounds on Amazon. And what that does is, the minute your power goes, your mains power goes off at home, it detects it and it switches over to a battery backup within the, the uninterruptible power supply and keeps the connection up and running, as long as there's no problems with the, the phone line connection and it's just a, a mains power thing. I don't think it's as good as a solution as using a VPS or virtual private server, but I was costing one up. I use the, a free one from Amazon, but I'd like to upgrade, and the upgrade that would be equivalent spec to what I'm using on my old MacBook, that would cost about $45 a month. So. By doing it this way, if it works, I could be saving myself over $500 a year. So that's why I thought it was worth exploring, worth testing out. So I hope you liked the video. If you found it useful, way to connect to your Mac or connect to your PC using Chrome Remote Desktop for free, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. For now, this is Jared Goodwin, and thank you.